Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today we are discussing the blessing of being in the way of your enemy. Why is it a blessing? Because friend, when you use the thing that harms you, the attempt that they make to harm you, whether it's an open smear campaign, whether you are being just totally lied on, scandalized, defamed, beloved, that's the time we should all take inventory. Where are you with God? See, when enemies come and when they rise up, they're coming, friends. And if you are in a time of peace right now, praise God. But be assured, enemies are always going to be in our lives, each and every one of us. But what I have learned in my journey from listening to the Holy Spirit, you have to take inventory where you are with the Father. Do not focus on your enemies because what they want is your focus. They want to destroy you psychologically. That's why God spoke through the prophet Isaiah and said that he would keep in perfect peace the mind that stays on him, the soul, the will, when you yield your will that I am not going to allow this enemy to keep taking my focus because what God is after, friends, is for us to mature enough that no matter who or what is going on, good, bad, or indifferent, we stay focused on our relationship with our Father because, beloved, unforgiveness and the root of bitterness will destroy your walk with God. When you allow your enemies to get that much of your attention to the point you are rehearsing how you're going to get back at them, what you're going to say, what you're going to expose about them, and before you know it, you're in a tit for attack. No, my friend, they got you. It's time to get quiet and take inventory because what I'm finding that is very is disturbing is how many people constantly talk about their enemies, but yet you are constantly sinning against God willfully. If you are still practicing willful sin and you got your focus on your enemy, but yet, beloved, do you not know when we rebel against God and we refuse to turn from our wickedness and, and let's call it what it is, sin in the sight of God is evil, it's wicked. If you are constantly sinning against God, and now you are choked out over all of your enemies. You don't have no peace, no joy. And worse than that, my friend, you are constantly doing the opposite of what you know God has told you to do. Now, here you are with earthly enemies, but you're an enemy of God yourself. Away with all this false doctrine and all of these people who want to preach and exhort and teach a fake Jesus. Jesus Christ is alive. And he has the same standards that he had when he walked this earth and taught his disciples in the flesh. They are all found in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And let me tell you, friends, Mortals will always, at some point in your journey, be your enemy. But woe unto each and every last one of us if we are enemies of God. Enough said. Till next time, my friend, it's time to take inventory. Not of what has been done to you, but what are you doing that God would frown upon that behavior? 
What have you done? Have you positioned yourself as an enemy of the cross? Till next time, my friend, let us all take inventory.